Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome on board to another episode of Ancient 26, another technological video about how you can install Windows 10 at a very old PC, at a very old laptop. What we have right here is a laptop made by Hewlett Packard. Let's see the model. Like you can see right here, the series of that model is the G7000. We have a serial and product number. Here it says that it's designed by Hewlett Packard. It's a very old laptop, but it's uh, still uh, functional. It used to have Windows Vista at the beginning, but after the first update, now it has Windows 7 Professional Edition. The best thing with uh, those series of uh, Hewlett Packard that it maybe is old, but this specific design allows you to have access in every part of the laptop. You want the fun, you can find it right here. You want the RAM memory, you can find it right here. You want the hard disk, you can find it right here. And that makes your life easier. The first idea was to install the brand new Windows 11. And the procedure is the same with Windows 10. So it's not so difficult to install a Windows 11, even at a very old laptop like this one. The main problem is the RAM memory. And I'm going to show you right now what I mean. Like you can see right here, we have two different slots. In general, we have uh, two gigabytes of RAM, one gigabyte per slot. Allow me to show you. Exactly that. One gigabyte of RAM memory per slot. And that practically means that we will not be able to install Windows 11. For Windows 11, we need at least 4 GB of RAM memory. But for Windows 10, for the 64-bit edition, we need at least 2 GB of RAM memory. And we already got it right here. And for the 32-bit edition, we need just at least 1 GB. What I love in that specific uh, laptop is that it's still at excellent condition and the Bravo goes at its owner. Before the installation of uh, Windows 10, what we can do in order to perform better is to install an SSD hard drive. Something like this one, which is a solid state drive with uh, 240 gigabytes made by Kingston. So we are about to remove the older ordinary hard disk and with that way we can have an improvement at the performance. So let's do it. The old case used to have four screws, two in every side, so we have to remove them and put them at our brand new SSD and like you can see we are ready and this will be the only hardware installation and the only hardware upgrade that we're gonna need we put it back and we are ready to go Hardware upgrade has already finished and now it's time to go further at the software upgrade and the Windows 10. So we're gonna need a USB flash drive under 8 gigabytes. We will download from Windows the tool that allows us to create automatically a bootable USB flash drive and that's all we're gonna need. You just plug it in at any of uh, three USB ports. 
and now you just fire up here there is no bootable device insert boot disk and press any key so we must give the right order to boot from our USB flash drive so the first action is to move at BIOS settings Control alt and delete and the machine will restart again Like you can see right here we have different keys for different orders what we're gonna need is the F9 or F10 I'm gonna use the F9 which is the change boot device order and that's all we need so I'm gonna hit the F9 and we must set as a priority our Kingston which is our bootable USB flash drive. This is our brand new SSD with 240 gigabytes and this is our USB flash drive. So our first action is to make it read from our bootable USB flash drive. So we guide the right selection with the arrows and then we press enter to select our option. What we're going to need is the F10, which is the BIOS settings option. Like you can see right here, our bootable USB flash drive start flashing that means that the procedure has already started and let's see what is going to happen next here is Greece our customer is Greek so the installation language will be Greek Greek for Greece Greek for Greece Greek and here says next I will translate every word so you don't have to worry it's the same at English installation now starting installation program we don't have a product key we will buy a product key with uh, 7 until 15 euros or US dollars so we're gonna say that we don't have a key right now and we're going to select the Windows 10 Pro we hit next always at the 64-bit edition of course we accept the terms and conditions we hit next here says for upgrade and here says for a brand new installation so we're going to select the clean installation which is the second one here we can see the free space from our brand new SSD hard disk and we're going to hit next And the procedure has already started.
here it says that it makes the right preparation. And this is what we see after the installation. Right here it says, let's begin with your area. It's correct. And it says to choose the right country for you, which is Greece in our case. So we hit yes. Says one moment. And here it asks you if this is the right configuration for your keyboard, which is Greek. You can add any language you want later. So we hit yes. Do you want to add a second language? We can add English from the United States. Next. Says one moment once again. Let's uh, connect you to a network. So now I'm ready for a connection with Wi Fi. Next, right here. Here it says, try to relax while I will use a little magic. It's going to install uh, more elements. So, we thank you for your patience. Don't unactivate your device. Once again, it says, one moment. personal use. I'm not going to add any account. So we're going to hit the option says that we are going to need an account without connection. We want the limited experience. We don't care for all those stuff. Our customer don't care about all the stuff. Dimitris is the owner. We're gonna hit next. We don't need a password. Now for every question, we're gonna hit the no option. No, and we hit accept. No, and we hit accept once again. And here, the second option, and accept once again. No, and accept. No, and accept once again, and again. says hello for the very first time. We're gonna preparate everything uh, for you. This may take a while. Don't deactivate your computer. Let everything on us. Here says that the windows will remain updated in order to protect you over the internet world. We almost done. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is our first sign from the Windows environment.
the Windows 10 environment. What we have to do is to make it more personalized. We will download the useful programs and we were going to see how it performs. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, final step after we clean the fonts, after we change the thermal paste, the last step is the Windows activation. So right here has a message, activate Windows. And like you can see right here, we just bought a key for the license, which is this code. Like you see, it's really, really easy. And because we use the discount code, it cost us 50% less. So it cost us almost uh, 80 euros, cause it's uh, 7.4 plus uh, taxes. So it's almost uh, 80 euros, which is a very, very good price for uh, the original Windows 10 professional. So let's go to activate that code. So we're going to move at our computer, like you already see, we put uh, the programs that uh, our customer are going to use and we change the interface and now it's more familiar because our customer used to have uh, the Windows 7 interface and if you notice right here we have the same interface with control panel and the rest. So now we go at settings. Windows 10, 64 bits. And now we're gonna try to activate our Windows. So we change our product key and now we're going to use that code we just bought before. We hit next. Now we hit activate. And that's all. Windows has been activated at Greek. So we're done. It has been changed, the warning message, and now it says that Windows has been activated. That was our final step. And to be honest, that was our technological video for today. So hit the like and the subscribe button if you just like what you saw and you want to know more about videos that like this. Of course, don't be shy, share it with your friends and we will get back soon. So thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye!